Hi, Kenny from Accelerator here. I'd like to introduce you to a new product that we've come up with. Um, it's affectionately called the Hangover. Uh, that is because it hangs over the edge of your kettle. What this is going to do is clamp onto the top of your kettle and provide you with half inch ports so you can mount equipment over the edge of the kettle. It's an inch and an eighth across here. This is your thumb screw here to tighten it up onto the kettle or whatever surface you happen to use. Okay, we're going to mount it, show you how it mounts. By the way, these are three inch slots here. So you have three inches of adjust adjustability up and down and back and forth. This is the deck plate. This is the riser plate. All right, we're going to apply it to a kettle. Just simply put it on and tighten up your thumb screw. Now, the, the thumb screw, you, you just have to snug it. You don't have to crank it down. You just you don't have to crank the hell out of it. You just snug it up, and that's it. And it's tight. Um, and then it's adjustable back and forth. Like I said, just loosen it up. You can move it around on the kettle wherever you want, need to have it to suit the needs that you, you need. Now, today, I'm going to demonstrate two projects, two pieces um, that we're developing and are going to market. The first uh, thing I'll mention is the Whirlpool Arms. Um, this is a copper one that, that we've de developed. We've hardened it so that it's not bouncy and rubbery and, and flexing around. It's pretty stiff. It's a good piece. It's just not stainless steel. Uh, this is a 3 8 and I'm showing you with a, a nut and ferrule fitting, 90 degrees, and then your water would come in from this side. Uh, this is our half inch. Now you're going to be able to get both 3 8 and half inch at, at varying lengths. That will all be cataloged on the website. Um, this one I'm demonstrating with a, with a quick disconnect on it with a valve for regulation. Uh, again, this is a, a 3 8 304 stainless steel. Um, this one I'm going to show you some adjustability here. So you can move it around. You can move it back and forth across the surface like this. So it's adjusting in and out back and forth, 360 degrees of, of, of adjustment, okay, you can adjust up and down for different size kettles, or if you want to bring the whirlpool up to the surface, you want to have it mid midstream or down close to the bottom of the kettle. Um, again, they're all adjustable, you just loosen it up. All the fittings that we're going to provide you are going to have nylon slides so that you can put a little friction. And, and, and have a nice slide effect. Here, here's an example of a nylon slide right here. It holds and it just goes back and forth nice and easy. Um, now also in the fittings, what we're going to do is we're going to provide you with the bulkhead fittings are actually what holds the 3 h rods in the hangover. This is just one example. Uh, we're going to provide dull ring ferrules that are going to go inside. So you can snug these up and make a nice friction fit, fit or you can make a, a watertight fit by snugging it up just maybe a half a turn with a wrench. But the beauty of it is you can loosen it back up and you, you haven't marred the shaft so that it's not in that fixed position. You can loosen things up, take things apart, take things, move things, put them on different kettles, clean, clean them, do whatever you, you feel you have to do. Um, now, the other thing that we feel is going to go real well as a combo with the hangover and our whirlpool arm is our trop stop. Trop, the word trop in our minds is a combination of troop and hops. So trop, because with these new New England IPAs, that's what we're dealing with is a, an awful lot of hops post boil and the normal tube that develops hot break, cold break, all of, all of everything that 
happens the proteins that end up to be what we call shrub. We've comboed the two words to come up with trob. This is our trob stop. We're pretty proud of this. Um, what this does is it is a filter during whirlpooling here and then when you finally piled up your tube and you're at the bottom of your drain you have these stainless steel dams that stops the tube from actually flowing in. Alright, this thing is slides right off. I'll demonstrate it. it. Slides right off. It's got a slot very similar to the slot that's in here, same size. And these little bends here are what begin it. Now it hooks onto the shoulder of this particular fitting. And I'll lift this one in a minute and show you how it, it lifts on the other fittings. So what happens is you're going to come up. You would have a fitting here, but for display purposes, I don't have that. And it's just going to go down, drop down, and it's going to, it's going to be locked in. You lift it up. Now, you can lift it during the boil, leave it up. However you want to do it, all right? So, and then one more thing on these, on the stops, they are just press fitted on here. So you can take these stops off. I have not removed the, the coating, the plastic coating on these yet. There's a brand new one. Um, these things just sit clip on here like that. Now they're adjustable up and down. So if the contour of your part, pot's a little bit different, then, then uh, it, it, they'll adjust to go down and hit the bottom. Bring that up in here like that. We're going to take a piece in like this. Now, if you got boiling water, it, it kind of just if, if you it just kind of brings itself in because I've made it like a pyramid shape so that it just you can you can find your way to the fitting without even looking. Um, that's called it. That's the trap step. Now, what with this with this particular setup that I have here. With the whirlpool arm, all right. Picture, if you will, you, you're you're sending your this way. It's coming around and deflecting and taking and actually pushing off of here and developing a, a nice tube pile right there. And then when you're draining, this will these will come off here. Um, again, everything is adjustable. Can come up. You can, if you want, to, if you want the whirlpool way up high, so be it. Now this, I'm going to demonstrate this one. Pardon my shakes. I'm going to demonstrate this one on a pickup. This is not actually what I use. I just made this for demonstration purposes. But I'm just showing that the pickups, this comes out far enough to include a pickup if that's what you already have existing on your kettle mount. So again, slides down, locks in, can't come out. Um, washable. Now everything is 304 stainless. Um, the dams. Um, that's it. So that's the hangover with a whirlpool arm. Now a couple of more things here. I don't know if you can see just how close. I've actually got too many units here in this the kettle, but. We'll deal with it. And you see how close you can bring these in. So, for the guys brew, uh, brewing, in a, brewing a bag, uh, you put your bag and possibly you could almost hold the, hold the bag up with, with, with it too. While this would be behind the bag. That's the other part too, is, the, uh, is this has got, doesn't have any edges to grab the bag. So this will be installed before you drop the bag in. Um, so that's it. That's our uh, that's our latest and greatest here from Extillerator. Um, I'm going to have more more videos showing uh, 